once again, if we're identifying um, certain aspects of the handout, you see that right here that this would be the hood, the hood or prepuce which covers the clitoris, okay? So um, again, where would the clitoris be? You see the tip or the glands of the clitoris right here. And we have other specimens to look at this in more detail, but this is the clitoris, the prepuce or the hood. And again, if we look um, deeper into the, um, the vestibule. Okay, so remember the vestibule is a space between the inner lips and you can readily identify the vaginal opening or the orifice, okay? And then if we move anterior to that, you see the opening of the urethra. So again, the urethra. And then surrounding the urethra, we have paraurethral glands. So really the glands themselves lie um, deeper in this tissue and they happen to be um, in the anterior wall of the um, of the vagina okay so again you see the opening of these um, periurethral glands or Skeen's glands so they would be at the anterior aspect of the vaginal orifice and at the posterior aspect of the vaginal orifice there are openings um, from the Bartholin's glands, which are also identified as greater vestibular glands, okay? So again, they're, they're simply little holes or openings and they're hard to identify, but again, the periurethral glands are anterior and the, the um, greater vestibular glands would be posterior to the vaginal orifice. All right, so, um, you know, just to give you a perspective of this specimen, you see that, again, right behind the, um, the pubic bone here, we have the presence of the, um, the bladder, and we have, of course, the uterus. And the uterus is basically anteroflexed, so it means it's tilted forward. Okay, and now we're looking at the posterior aspect of the uterus. And obviously we see that um, we have associated with the uterus. And again, it happens to be wrapped in ligamentous tissue, but we have the, um, the oviducts, or again, the uterine tubes. And we're simply following these to the most distal end and you see the presence of the infundibulum. Okay, so these are the, the fimbri of the infundibulum, all right? And obviously they are paired, so we have one on the opposite side as well, okay? Now, look at the ligamentous tissues. So really, we're talking about the fact that we have the broad ligament here, and then where the, um, where the ovaries would be attached to the, um, the actual uterus itself, we would have the, um, the ovarian ligaments, okay? So again, the ovarian ligaments are attached to the uterus, and then the suspensory ligaments are further out. But we'll look at another um, specimen to identify these structures.